Hey boos, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and let's keep the family growing. Hey, let's keep the family growing. I want to grow my YouTube family. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Pause. If you're trying to grow your channel, girl, you're gonna have to be posting a lot more consistently. You disappeared for over a month and you just try to come back like nothing happened? Like ain't nothing happened? Where have you been? What's going on? Tell us the tea. Well, I'm gonna tell you guys the tea, but in another video. In the meantime, I'm here, I'm back. Your girl is alive. Thank you for you guys that sent messages asking if I'm going to post. Thank you for your, your comments. Please forgive your girl for going MIA. In the meantime, I love you a latte. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's get back into the video. I want to grow my YouTube family and get to the next milestone of 10,000 subscribers. And then eventually I want to have 50 quadrillion subscribers because my son tells me that's his favorite number. And I think if I have 50 quadrillion subscribers, that will make him very happy. So, subscribe. <laughs> Okay, anyways, I have a new video for you guys and this video I will tell you the truth You're going to uncover things you never thought possible This is my deepest, darkest secret. If I tell you this, you can't tell anyone else. Like, you have to promise to keep it to yourself. Unless you want to share, then you can do that too. That's perfectly okay. In this video, guys, I'm going to tell you guys the truth about being a DIYer. The things that nobody talks about. So, as you guys know, I originally started this channel to talk about my motherhood and my DIY journey. I know it's been a while since I've done a DIY video, and that's because... Well... That's because it's so much work that sometimes you just want to break, you know? Just... So, number one. You have cuts and scrapes everywhere. To be fair, your girl is extremely clumsy. I'm talking about level, like, 10. Is that how they score clumsiness? I'm not sure. If it's like a 1 to 10, I'm probably like... A 10. I'm constantly like accidentally injuring myself. So adding that to me being a DIYer, it is basically a recipe for disaster. I'm constantly, constantly running for bandages. Whether you're clumsy or not, you're going to get a few cuts and scrapes while you're being a DIYer. That's just part of it. I think there's like a, a, a handbook that says you must agree to constantly be bruised up. Number two, I have a random idea saved everywhere. You're talking about a picture on my fridge, a picture on a wall taped up, a hundred thousand pictures saved on my phone, drawings in my notebook, my Pinterest board is like 50 million boards high. My phone is running out of memories for the amount of things I've saved, it's, whether it be from Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. Basically, there's so many ideas that I'll probably never be able to do in like two, three, four lifetimes. But I'm still gonna save them. You never know. Number three. I was actually thinking that I need to contact Home Depot and ask them if I can move in permanently. I'm there so much, it's basically my second home. It's actually more of like my first home and this is my second home. I think, you know, I think I, I, think I should do that. That's the next logical step, right? I think so too. Number. So everything takes 20 times longer to finish. It's crazy because like everybody I know who's a contractor or a DIYer, their own personal projects take so long that sometimes they just feel like maybe I should have hired someone. I have been working on different parts of my house for maybe more than a year i still have not added the backsplash to my kitchen and i've gotten the, i got the backsplash over a year ago and I, I just haven't found the time or the energy or i still have excuses so it's still not done 
my brain. Baby, baby, be careful. Your friends are so tired of hearing you talk about all the crazy projects you want to do. I constantly blow up my friend's phone with ideas and like something I want to do to my house or something I thought of or something I want to try to create instead of buying and it's just y'all if you're watching this I'm sorry I apologize from the bottom of my heart I just you know sometimes I just don't think about how you would feel with me spamming you day in and day out with ideas <laughs> okay well <laughs> okay well there's that so your garage becomes the home where all your unfinished projects and endless piles of scrap wood goes to die i mean i don't think my car has been inside my garage for like two years now my poor car Unfinished projects are everywhere. Some projects I've had to redo a few times. More than a few times? You know, let's just roll the clip. baseboards, patching a little hole in the ceiling, finishing up, like fixing up the flooring. Just, I have like little unfinished projects in every crevice of my house. If you've seen my house tour, you will probably notice some of them or a lot of them. And if I turn this camera around right now, you will notice a lot more. <laughs> When I start on new projects, my friends bet what percentage I will actually complete. So, <laughs> so whenever I say, hey, I'm doing this, um, my friends are like, so you're going to finish 70% or you're going to finish 80% this time? And it's always, it's always fun to prove them wrong. Actually, I proved them wrong twice. Probably should work on that. Oh. The biggest, biggest, biggest covet of being a DIYer is having unfinished projects everywhere. <laughs> but at least, like, I have a vision of what it will look like when it's done. And you know, when it's done, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be fantastic. Trust me. Timeline? Uh, about that. That's to be determined. I just wanted to be honest with you. So, those are the facts, folks. I am the master of unfinished projects. I admit it. I have nothing to hide. I have no shame. I have almost no shame. Okay, I have some shame. But, <laughs> what matters is that at the end, you'll eventually finish it and it'll be something very beautiful. Did I already say that? I think I did. You know, I have endless excuses after excuses of why I haven't completed a project. Like, no time. Like, I'm applying to grad school. Like, just, I have a kid. I'm a single mother. No time. You know, so. There's more excuses. I just haven't thought of them yet. But I will. So, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Bye. Well, I forget to. That is the wrong channel. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, may your hair game be as strong as your coffee game. Mm. I love you a lot, eh? <laughs> Bye, boos. Bub.
What are you doing, Bo? Uh oh. <laughs> if you do that, then they can't see me. Oh. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Love you, Bo. Do you want to get down? Yeah. <laughs> Bye, booze. Bye, booze.